Good morning. We are going to teach you a game that you can do with Nephi's Courage, right Matthew? Okay, mm -hmm. this is called the Cup Game. A lot of you might know it. If you don't, mm. let's show you how it works. So get a cup, okay? We have little plastic cups here, but you can use a plastic cup out of your kitchen. Don't use a glass. Your mom would not be very happy. Use a plastic cup of some sort, or you can use a stick. And if you can't find either one of those things, you can just use your hands and the table, okay? So hold on, let's show them how it goes. You ready? So we're gonna say the words to Nephi's Courage and do it with the cups, and then we'll start singing it and see if this helps us to memorize this song. Ready? Mm -hmm. The Lord commanded Nephi to go and get the plates from the wicked Laban inside the city gates. Laban and Lemuel were both afraid to try. Nephi was courageous, this was his reply. I will go, I will do the things the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. I will go, I will do the things the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. Okay, let's take that in slow motion so they can see the actions. So we're going to just say the, what the commands are this time. And then we'll add the words next time. You ready? So we're going to go clap, clap, cap, tap, top, clap, up, down, clap, sweep, sweep palm, table, table bottom, grab the bottom, table, table down. down. So we have, let me just say it one time. You ready? Clap, clap, tap the cup, clap, up, down, clap. Swoop, palm, hit the table, grab the bottom, hit the table, and the cup comes down. Okay, let's add the second verse to it. Are you ready? Okay, this one is about what? What's our story about? Um, building a boat. Building a boat. Okay, ready? The Lord commanded Nephi to go and build a boat. Nephi's older brothers believed it would not float. Laughing and laughing, they said he should not try. Oops, I did that wrong. Let's... Nephi was courageous, this was his reply. I will go, I will do the things the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. I will go, I will do the things the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way he wants me to obey. Okay, let's go over the last verse. This is the trickiest one, I think, to remember because it doesn't have our story, but it's talking about us. Oh, Matthew's going to pull up the music. Here's the words. The Lord gives, the Lord gives us commandments and asks us to obey. Sometimes I am tempted to choose another way. When I'm discouraged and think I cannot try, I will be courageous and I will reply. Got it? Let's say those ones one more time. Can you help me say it? Here, we'll put the music in front of us so we can see. And Oh, well, they can't see our music. You can pull up the music, though. This is on page 120, and you can find it on the phones. I'll put it right here, Matthew. Or in your children's songbook. Okay. Can we see the Oh. Maybe Evelyn will hold it up for you. Do you want to hold it up for Matthew? Okay, Evelyn's going to help us. All right, are we ready? We're going to do the third verse. The Lord gives us command. Whoa! <laughs> hold on. Redo. Okay, you ready? Yeah. The Lord gives us commandments and asks us to obey. Sometimes I am tempted to choose another way. When I'm discouraged and think I cannot try, I will be courageous and I will reply. Let's sing the whole thing with the Oops. chorus this time. That's okay, Evelyn. Do you, do you got it? Do you have the words? Yeah. Okay, we've got the words memorized. Let's see if you guys have the words memorized. Are you ready? The third verse. Yeah. The Lord gives us commandments and asks us to obey. 
sometimes I am tempted to choose another way. When I'm discouraged and think I cannot try, I will be courageous and I will reply. I will go, I will do the things the Lord commands. I know the Lord provides a way He wants me to obey. I will go. So feel free to try that at home. See if it helps you to memorize the words to this song. And um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy practicing the cup game with Nephi's Courage. Thanks, Matthew. You can also do it with Yankee Doodle. <laughs> and a number of other songs. You have to see if you can come up. See what other songs you can find that go with our new <laughs> cup game. <laughs> All right. I'll take a little start. We'll see you next time. Hey, welcome back. The next song we're gonna sing with everybody um, actually goes by two different titles. I always knew it as the Army of Helaman. Is that kind of what you think of when you hear of this song? So we're gonna sing, and, but the other title and the one that you'll find it when you look it up in your parents' phone or in the children's songbook is We'll Bring the World His Truth. What a cool title, right? To take the world the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's huge. So this song, has three verses. Um, the first verse we're going to sing, um, I think we all are pretty familiar with, talks about Nephi being a goodly parent. Um, Matthew, what does it mean to be a goodly parent? Um, Do you know? Be born of good parents. Be born of good parents. What are good parents? You. <laughs> nice, all right, answer. Good nice job. Nice parents. Nice parents. Um, so this verse kind of teaches that parents who love the Lord and who teach the gospel to their children, that's what it meant. So Nephi was born of parents who taught him the gospel, just like your parents are teaching you the gospel. So the first verse. Okay, so we're going to sing this verse that talks about Nephi and his parents and how we have the same call to action to spread the gospel. Okay, let's go, Lucy. army of Helaman. Do you know what that means? What does it mean to be like the army of Helaman? Um, have faith. Have faith. Have faith in the Lord. Yep. What else did this song teach us? Study the gospel. Right. We've been taught in our youth. You guys are in your youth, right? What's a youth? What is a youth? What's a youth, Matthew? Younglings. Younglings. I am not a youth. Are you a youth? You are a youth. I'm not a youth. You are not a youth? What are you? Are you a child? Yeah. Yeah, a child is in their youth. It means young. So when you are young, you are being taught. And we will be the Lord's missionaries. What are missionaries? They help people learn the gospel. So if this is saying, and we will be the Lord's missionaries, what do you get to do? Spread the 
gospel. Spread the gospel. That's right. We can bring the world his truth as missionaries. Okay, so next verse. We got to move our book. Matthew, put our foundation up here on the table. Okay, so the next verse. We're actually playing. We have been saved. We have been saved for these latter days. So we are here now, right? You are on the earth now to build the kingdom in righteous ways. Now, we're going to build a kingdom. Hold on, hold on. What do we need to build the kingdom? What does it take to build the kingdom? Let me get the my God, papers. Soul, family, history. Hold on, hold on. Don't give all the answers at once. All right, so what's our first brick? The gospel. gospel. The gospel. Does the gospel help us build the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Okay, Evelyn, I want you to put that on the block. And you guys can do this at home too. Find some blocks. Where's my tape? We found tape. Look. Okay, <laughs> Evelyn. Found it. Our first one to build the kingdom in righteous ways is to what? The gospel. What do we have to do with the gospel? Eat. Spread. Spread. How are we going to spread the gospel Family history. if we don't know the gospel? Family. What do we need to do? Learn. Learn. So we're going to put gospel on this one because that's important to learn the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay. Put that building block on. Okay. Give us another one, Matthew. What's another one that we um, can do to build a kingdom? Family history. <gasps> family history. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see these, but I'm going to write them down. You can do this too. And maybe Lucy can even get a little bit closer and she'll show you what these look like. No. Okay. Give us another block, Matthew. They're visible. Okay. Let's build. We're going to build the kingdom by doing our family history. Take it off. Green. Okay. What's another one? Um. Oh, and let's leave them off. We're going to sing the verse and I'm going to have you guys build it as we sing. So that we're going to just put together our building blocks of building the kingdom. Scriptures. What do we have to do with the scriptures? Read. Do they just sit there? Read the scriptures. Read. Read the scriptures. Okay, let's put that one on. Oh, look, Matthew already prepared you a block. Let's put that on there. Okay. All right. Let's maybe do a couple more. Yes, do. And then we'll sing it. Okay, what's another one? How can we build the kingdom? What are Pray. righteous ways? <gasps> Praying. Let's write prayer. Okay, good. Saying our prayers. That's really important. Is it? Hold on, don't build it yet. Oh, oh, very good. Yeah, that one needed two. That was a good idea. So I was putting two on. This one might need two, too. A two, two. <laughs> okay, do we have any other righteous ways that we can build the kingdom? Um, Let's think of some more. You guys help us think of missionaries. some. Missionaries. I bet you can think of some. Missionaries. What do missionaries have to do before they can go out, though? Um, I'm thinking of a word that starts with T. They have to gain their own... Testimony. <gasps> Testimony. It's hard to share something that you don't know for yourself, right? So they missionaries have to have a strong testimony to go out and share that testimony with everybody they meet. Whoops. Okay. All right. I bet you guys can think of some other ones too. We are, oh, Lucy just thought of one. Did you see what Lucy said? Lucy, share it. Book of Mormon. Oh, Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon, okay. These are all great ways to build the kingdom in righteous ways. We're gonna sing this verse, and these guys are gonna see if, if by the time we are done singing, they can build a kingdom. Wait, I have Can one more. Can you guys more. build one? Oh, you have Christ. one more. That is the most important cornerstone of Jesus all Christ. Family. Now, I think Jesus Christ goes hand in hand with testimony. What's another word that goes along with Jesus Christ? We have to have faith, faith in Jesus Christ. No, no. So I think that one definitely faith. goes at the very center. Jesus Christ goes at the center of all of these, right? And then all these other ones. Okay, so these guys are gonna build us a kingdom. We have a big pile of blocks here. So we'll see how tall theirs can get. They've gotta to work together. And you'll have to work together with your siblings. See if you guys can build a kingdom while we sing this first. Are we ready? One moment. Okay. 
Okay, and you build it on this, our firm foundation, okay? And you can use all the blocks down there too. It doesn't have to just be the word blocks. Oh, wait, 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 don't start yet, don't start yet. Okay, ready? Okay, we're ready to build our kingdom. We have been born and Nope, hold on. This one goes, we have been saved for these latter days, okay? All right, let's try that again. Let us see the words come up. We have been saved for these latter days to build the kingdom in righteous ways. We hear the words our prophet declares. Let each whose worthy go forth and share. Pause. I heard another one. We hear the words what? Worthy. Prophet. Our prophet. We better worthy. put that one on there. And worthy. We don't have any more. Worthy? Oh, worthiness. Yes. What does it take to be worthy? We often talk, so some of you are getting ready to get your temple recommend for the very first time, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Right? And that requires a temple recommend, which is worthiness, right? Where we go and we declare to the bishop that we are worthy to enter the temple. That's a very good one. We'll put that on there. Worthy. We hear that in the song. Okay. All right. We can continue. Here's another one. Ready? Go. We are as the army of the And I bet we could have kept going with so many more good words, mm -hmm. right? We built the wall. And in some ways, yeah, look. Now, the next verse we're going to get ready for, we're going to leave this right here because I kind of look at this as fortification. You know, we were talking, hold on, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. We were talking about being an army, being like, as, as the army of Helaman. Well, when you go to battle, you have to have fortification. Do you think that this fortification, all of these things, come on, come on. These things are going to help protect us from Satan's temptations and from being grumpy with our brothers or sisters. Those things that are going to keep us from feeling the spirit. This is like our fortification wall. So we're going to have that right there, okay? Now, Evelyn, Mom. will you help me with this next verse? Mom, I made a very good. I like it. That temple is our fortification. Okay, so the next verse goes, we know his plan and we will prepare. So how do we prepare for battle? Are you ready to go to battle? You are? No. Well, we better get you ready. There's a couple of things you need, Evelyn. First, we're going to have to put on the armor of God, aren't we? Can you hold our shield of faith? So I think that would help us to prepare, right? We will prepare. Oh, here's another one. What about a sword of truth? Is that going to help you prepare for battle? Oh, Matthew has our last one. The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. These are the things, some of the things that they mention in the scriptures as the armor of God. Are you ready? You have your fortification of your testimony. Even has your loin. Oh, you can stand up. Lucy will hold the camera higher. And we will prepare. Increase our knowledge. Oh, so which ones increase our knowledge? We have the Book of Mormon, listen to the prophet, read our scriptures, pray. That is so that we can gain truth, right? We will prepare, increase our knowledge through? Study and prayer. Through study and prayer, right? So daily, daily we'll learn until we are called to take the gospel to all the world. When are you going to be called to take the gospel to all the world? When I'm a missionary. When you're a missionary, but are you going to be ready to be a missionary like, just just like that, or do you yeah. think you have to do some work to do that to be ready to be a missionary? Okay. <laughs> do you have to prepare to be a missionary? Okay, let's sing the last verse. Are you ready, Lucy? Lucy's going to start our music.
together now and I want you guys to practice this one at home um, I've particularly asked the boys to memorize and sing this and send me a recording so um, yeah I hope this helps you to get that really comfortable in your head we're gonna do okay we're gonna do all three verses ready okay we're ready take to heart these things that help us prepare to build God's kingdom. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.